So today we're going to try out the uh, mica cap ink cap mushroom. So we we went foraging for morale. This is a morale. So this is in the same season as a mica cap, and of course we found a lonely oyster mushroom. So we're going to um, try them out today. Let's heat up the pan because they're very delicate. Um, so you don't need to cook it for too long. Oh, remember with uh, ink cap, uh, shaggy mains, uh, ink cap mushrooms. Remember, you can't have it with alcohol. Uh, with it after consumption of the mushroom. You shouldn't drink alcohol within 48 hours. So when you're cooking the mushroom, make sure you don't drink um, liquor or beer or wine. So let's try it out. This is so cute. Hey do. So I had morale this morning for breakfast. And let's put this little guys in. Where's your they're so cute. Look. So as you can see, they have uh, ridge, you know, lines. That's one of the uh, main characteristics. And also, they have uh, black spores. Looks scary, but we'll see. So this is the younger ones. Whoop! There you go. Let's see if we. Um, the younger ones, the gills has, that hasn't opened, the uh, spore hasn't come out yet, so they uh, they are not, they don't turn, they didn't turn black yet. Okay. We'll see how they taste. Wish me luck. <laughs> oh, smells so good. Oh, can you smell it? Oh, forgot. The, the uh, technology hasn't advanced yet, but my goodness, that mushroom smell that's coming out, it's beautiful. I guess we could just quickly uh, stir fry, and then it'll be ready. With the uh, morale, you gotta make sure they're fully cooked. Let me see. Let me flip it over. Make sure they get nicely cooked. We didn't get a big harvest today, but that'll be my uh, appetizer, I guess. <laughs> hey. Let's get some seasoning. Okay, the moment of truth. How's the lighting? Maybe I should turn on the light. Okay, see if that's better. Whoa, see that? We got the morale mushroom, we got the oyster mushroom, and we got the uh, Mica cap, okay. I don't know whether I slightly uh, overcooked, but uh, just to be safe, I uh, cooked it well done. Okay, time for me to uh, taste. Ooh, there goes my belly. Time for me to taste the uh, oyster mushroom. Mmm, very crunchy. Mm -mm. Very sweet. Come on. Let me see. Can I get my daughter? Let me get my hair done. Okay. So this is the uh, little mica cap, ink cap, that you guys saw before. Mmm. The texture is very... The cap is very... Um, Mm -mm. Don't don't turn it around. Yeah. 
Mm. Mm. The stem gives you that cr crunch. The cap is a little bit more moist, so it's it's nice. Mm. So, according to my uh, instruction um, teaching video, they say don't overcook it because it's very fry, very tender. Mmm. Mmm. Wow. See, I didn't put any seasoning. And that has a natural sweetness to it. Mmm. And because I didn't find too many. See, they're tiny. Mmm. <laughs> That's a good tasting mushroom. So, next time if you go out during the springtime looking for oyster mushrooms and morales, there's likelihood that you will find mica mushrooms. Um, those are, this is a ink cap mushroom. And when you find them, make sure you do for, uh, harvest them quickly and eat it with it the same day because they will turn into ink uh, in next day. So make sure when you harvest it, take the young ones and eat it uh, the same day. Oh my goodness. That's some good mushroom. And here, here's a morale. And I guess there's not much introduction needed for morales. Mmm. Oh, oh wow. This is as good as oyster mushrooms. Mmm. Well, there goes my dinner. I guess that's how you keep fit. <laughs> we'll see you next time with our uh, mushroom adventure. See you next time.